Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Voyager Class Autobot Springer from Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy. Really nice artwork of Springer here on the side. Other side has that kind of same picture we get with all the Siege releases. Not too much going on in the top or bottom. Spin around to the back. He is a triple changer so you get robot mode, car mode, and helicopter mode. And then it suggests using this Battle Master with him, but of course he's compatible with all of them. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get him out of there and we'll take a closer look. Here's Springer out of the packaging. And in robot mode, I think he looks really good. He doesn't have a ton of kibble or anything. He just has a little bit of a backpack, but it's really no big deal. He does have a considerable amount of the siege-worn, dirty bits over here on the shoulders because they become kind of the front of the car and uh, helicopter modes on the chest a lot in the shin area so he's probably got i don't want to say the most of any i've seen but he's definitely up there for siege battle damage but overall he really does look good it's a very uh cartoon movie accurate springer he looks very nice Head can turn from side to side and move up and down. I believe it's on a ball joint. You have a swivel here in the shoulder as well as a hinge out to the side. Bicep swivel, pretty much 90 degrees in the elbow. Uh, wrist can swivel. You do have a waist swivel. Kick out to the front in the hip, out to the side. Thigh swivel. You have a weird knee joint. Uh, it's mostly for the transformation, but I guess... No, I guess he does have a real knee joint. There we go. Okay. For a second, I was like, does he only have that weird knee joint? No, he does have a proper knee joint. That's good. I've been transforming this thing for like three hours, and I did not find that knee until just now. Anyway, uh, he's got an ankle tilt. So, the articulation's good. Um, he's a little top-heavy, and the heels that they give you are not super great, but he can stand. You just kind of have to distribute the weight properly. He does come with some nice accessories. He has this uh, gun that can actually split apart into two guns. So if you like the look of the one long gun, you can certainly use that. If you want him to have two guns, you can do that as well. He also comes with two swords, which will become... Um, so you can already see him trying to lean back. The hips are just a little weird. Not the hips, the ankles. Um, so he comes with two swords, which will become helicopter blades. So he can have one sword, one gun, two guns, two swords, whatever you like. But all very cool. So I'm going to take these all off. He also comes with this weird uh, rotation piece, which is really just to put the mount the two swords into. So he can be a helicopter later on. Whoops, sorry buddy. We'll get back there. So I'm just going to put all these off to the side. But yeah, like I said, he looks good. The Autobot symbol on the chest, very nicely painted. Good articulation. And I mean, they nailed it with the head sculpt. It's really a perfect head sculpt. So aesthetically, as a robot, I think he looks good. My only complaint is the ankles. Um, because they're not super connected to the body. They're mostly connected in the front. And that doesn't really distribute the weight evenly. But like I said, as long as you just get it in a position so the weight's evenly distributed he shouldn't have too much trouble posing all right so we're gonna go into car mode first and i'm gonna be honest with you guys he's a bit of a chore uh, <laughs> the directions are far from helpful as is pretty typical with hasbro directions uh but just a little trial and error like i said i've just been messing with it for a while and you can figure it out but uh it's difficult it's definitely not an easy transformation uh, but we'll get there. So, first thing you want to do, you want to like lift the bottom part of his chest out a little bit to kind of unpeg everything, and then the arms will kind of come straight down, and you just kind of put them off to the side. So you want to fold out these... Well, actually, not yet. I'm jumping the gun. You'll see how they, they pop right off, and it's because I did it too early. Go back on. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong has been the theme of the day, trying to transform this guy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you want to uh, 
spin the head around 180 degrees bring this piece around you'll see there's a hinge here once you get to about here you can fold these down you just can't do it because they'll hit this part that the head's mounted onto and that'll pop that'll cause it to just pop off it's just the little you saw the little tab with the indentation that's why they pop right off so once you get this around you'll see there's two pegs here they need to go underneath this bar so you have to get them underneath there you go and then lift it up these things are going to stay down for the rest of the time and my goodness they are a pain in the butt because you're constantly just moving around them um, at this point you can come down to the legs move the ankle out a little bit so you have some room bring this down flip the little fin out and then you can close that back up do the same on the other side close that back up all right so at this point you want to unfold this back section of the shoulder flip this out and then just bring it down and it pegs into the back of the fist and that gives you like a solid chunk <laughs> of arm slash sidecar uh, so bring this around straighten out the arm and that will peg into the back of the fist and there you go so at this point you want to rock this whole section on this gray joint here back and it's a little easier said than done make sure the arms are out of the way but you'll see that this will kind of fit in between that area there so you want to make sure that that's all the way down snapped in tightly otherwise you'll run into problems later on all right next keeping this thing down you need to bring this up and that'll peg in there and then this will peg in there so basically there is a small tab here which is going to peg into this spot right there and then there is a tab slot on the inside of the forearm which is going to tab into this big dark gray tab right there but you need to make sure that you bring this all the way up because sometimes it just will not go and I can't figure out why it's really weird there's a lot of moving parts inside the torso area and you have to make sure you clear everything to, to get it going so with the legs you're going to use that weird knee I showed you earlier bring this around you can see that there's tiny little indentations right here and that's where this part of the toe is going to go so you kind of and you can kind of do this it really reminds me of those uh, micro masters like the fire engine in the tank because they have those pieces that kind of slide under there like that and then you just kind of need to make sure make sure the knees aren't bent make sure that's all straight bring this down slide that in as well then you can peg the two legs together underneath here like that and then you just drop this back and these two tabs should tab into these tabs on the feet and honestly these tabs in the back should tab into these slots right here so you just bring this all down and there you go we got the car mode it was actually easier I feel like every time you do it it's a little bit easier because things are used to going there like the joints are very tight to start out but I like the car mode very reminiscent of the show and the movie you can take the guns and put them together and then they want you to slide these out and you can see that there's a big tab slot right there and there's tabs on the side of the gun they want you to peg this into the side on both sides and then just kind of sit this in this and then drop it in here to give them like a weird cannon that moves around because it's the helicopter module <laughs> i think that looks really weird i mean if you love it great you can do it i personally 
I just like the car. I like the car as it is. It's got these weird little fins on the back. But rolls decently. I think the car mode is probably the easier of the two modes. And I think it looks pretty good. Okay, going from the car to the helicopter. Unpeg this, lift that back up. Probably go ahead and unhook the legs from each other. You can bring all this back just to get it out of the way. Sometimes this knee sticks. There we go. All right, unpeg the arms. Let me zoom out here. Oop, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> you have kind of a jangled mess. Get the arms up out of the way. You need to uh, pull down his waist. So this will actually fold down like this. And you also need to rotate it 180 degrees at the thigh, like that. Make sure everything's straight because it's very easy to get all tangled up. So this is going to flip, this is going to flip this way, flip this down, this will swing around, hold on, there we go, like this. Right? Hold on. I have it upside down so it's confusing me. No, like this. There we go. And then we'll go like that. So, seeing that again in a less confusing fashion. This will flip around. Again, make sure the arms are out of the way. This will spin around like that. This will come in over here. This piece will flip around like this. You will then peg the legs together, peg the two little fins together to form your back helicopter fin. And there you go, there's the back of your helicopter. Coming underneath for the arms, you want to bring this all the way down and push that in as far in as it will go. Now this is where it gets tricky. You can see there is a gray tab right here where my finger is. That's got to go into that. So you have to kind of push it down until that goes in. Then you can see that there's kind of like a little bevel. That's going to be for this. And this tab will go... Oh, actually, I haven't done the arms yet. Haha. -ha. So this is real simple. You just pull this down. Flip this around. Pull this away from the body. Push this back closed. And then spin this around 180 degrees like that. So now that little kind of bevel in the forearm will go here as that tab pegs into I believe it's this one down here. So you have to push this part push this in as far as you can get that little tab in the chest to clear. You got to kind of push it down to get it in there it's really quite a pain. Sometimes it's easier if you peg this part in first and use it as leverage, but it's still not easy. There we go, there we go, push. Okay, there we go. Now it's all the way in. So one more time with the other arm. You're going to unpeg this, bring it down, flip this around 180. Pull the dark green part away from the arm, fold this back up, and then spin this around 180. Now, bring this joint down as far into the body as it will go, then push this up and get it under that gray piece as you push this in. I think that one went in a lot easier. So you can see this gray tab is in the little divot in the kind of bluish gray piece. And then these, uh, you know, circle joints fit in that divot perfectly and the arms are pegged against the body. So that's the hard part.
easy part come down here this and this will peg in here and here this and this will peg in here and here so you just bring this down and that should all snap firmly into place and now you have a pretty decently solid helicopter mode bring in your weird gun concoction if you have it set up that way slide the swords in and then just peg that in on the top and there you go now you have a helicopter Woo! you can take the guns you can peg them in on the sides here if you like uh, peg that in there so you can see how that has a groove so sometimes it's a little bit easier to push that down and then pop it in and then push it back up now only one of the guns has the groove but they put the groove on both sides so you can put the gun on either side but there you go there is the helicopter mode with the two guns and the helicopter attached it looks good i really do like it like i said trying to figure out how to get those arms in the first time it's difficult it really is it took me a while and like i said the directions are not helpful I had to do a little trial and error, and I'm just kind of looking at the toy, and I'm going, okay, this bevel in the forearm, that little carve-out, looks like it's meant to surround this. Like, that's intentionally why they did it. And at one point, they have you rock this top part back. They're like, rock that back forward. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense, because now this thing is twice as long. The only time you want to rock that forward is for the robot mode, because that helps you form the box for his chest. Both vehicle modes want that rocked back so it's more solid. Because you don't want a helicopter that's like this extra long. It doesn't make any sense. So it just takes a little trial and error. But honestly, when you're done, I do like the end result. Alright, I'm actually going to show you transformation back to robot mode. I don't usually do this, but this guy's a little tougher than usual. So I've gone ahead and removed the guns and the helicopter blade. So once again, you want to unpeg the arms and pull them out. You want to unpeg this. Let me zoom back out. Yeah, there we go. So lift that up. You can bring the legs down. They will swoop out to the side like this. Unpeg them from each other. And these really peg in pretty tightly, I have to say. Uh, fold these back in like that. Fold these up. Fold these up. Bring this down. Rotate. Boom, there's a leg. Boom, there's a leg. You can... Well, I'm going to do this first because I think it's easier. you got to unpeg this and rotate this whole section up like that. Then you can pop these up to reform your waist. Spin them around at the thigh. So there you go. Lower half is done. This is where it gets interesting. Uh, unpeg this. you got to spin this around first. You can collapse this. Collapse that. Push that in, close that up, there's an arm, spin this down, pop this, fold that in, into the shoulder, fold it down, close it up. Alright, so this is where I talked about earlier forming a box for the chest. So, keeping these out, you have to lift this out so you can get those pegs out of there. And it sometimes can be a little difficult. And it sometimes feels like you're going to break it. But you got to do it. There we go. Okay. So. Now you want to rotate that back down. On that front pin. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I know why it's doing it. Because I have to fold these in. Now it'll rotate. These things are such a pain in the butt. 
and the only purpose they serve is so that you don't see like the inside of his body in the robot mode but they're in the way of everything else <laughs> so all right this has to come all the way up there you go this little peg or little hook will go into I believe right there and then you see how there is this tab right here that's gonna peg in right there so you have to bring this up and kind of situate this Ugh. All right, hold on a sec. All right, sorry. It's hard to do in front of the camera. You really have to kind of get your eye in there. So you can see how that little peg kind of goes into the divot right here, and then this goes against the body. Although I'm not quite sure why this is giving me so much difficulty. I feel like I must not have something all the way down because the chest piece keeps popping out. All right, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? Get this out of the way. I must not have something. Because usually this will stay and see how that's kind of giving me resistance. Well, I thought I was helping by showing you how to get into the robot mode. Apparently I was not. Ugh. There we go. I think I just had it too close. I don't know. I apologize. I'm going to have to get this going again. Okay, I finally got him back in. <laughs> So you see how the green thing is in the little divot and then the shoulder pegs in to the side right there. So I don't know why. I think I just had the, the back piece I didn't have lined up properly. But like I said, it seemed like whenever I was trying to do it in front of the camera, I couldn't get it to work. And then as soon as I turned the camera off, it clicked right into place. That's the thing about this guy. He's so temperamental. I had the same problem... Uh, one of the times I was transforming him into car mode, like, I'm like, I know this, this arm piece rotates up, why won't it snap into place? And then I just kind of rocked something one way and then it popped right in no problem. So, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with this dude. Here's the thing. I think all three modes look great. I think the accessories he comes with are great. Um, I think his transformation is definitely finicky. I think it's one of the hardest ones in recent memory. So if you're going to pick this guy up, just be aware of the project that you're in for. I do think it gets easier the more you do it, but it's definitely not the most intuitive transformation. And it's definitely frustrating at times because a lot of times it looks like everything is lined up right and it just won't peg in and it doesn't make any sense. But it will if you just keep at it. So the nice thing is all three forms, once pegged in properly, are pretty solid. The robot mode, the car mode, the helicopter mode, they're all pretty solid. Like, they hold together well. I still don't think I have this in right. Oh, these things. These side panels, man. Drive me crazy. There we go. Now he's in. Now he's in. So he's just finicky, man. He's just really finicky. But like I said, once you get it all pegged in correctly, they're solid. They look good. I think he really is cartoon accurate, which is what I always like them to do with these toys. Um, great accessories. Of course, he's compatible with all of the weapons, weaponizers, battle masters, all that stuff. I didn't show it, but everything in the line is compatible with that stuff. So like I said, he's a... I don't want to say fun toy. He's not necessarily fun, which is weird to say. Um, but he's a good looking toy, I guess I can say. I don't know. I have real mixed feelings about this, as you can probably tell. 
Um, I like, like I said, it's a pain to transform them, but once it's done, it's three solid modes. Three solid modes. I think the car is probably my favorite. The helicopter is all right, but I think I like the car better. The robot mode looks good too. So that's why I'm conflicted because he's not necessarily fun to transform, but once it's done, whatever mode you're transforming into looks great. So I'm just babbling at this point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.